has have happily filled many a belly around the UK. Let's take a look at him in action. So just mixed up. Yeah. Like that. Gosh. Mix that meat. So, again, it was quite sparse, wasn't it? You didn't have a lot of meat. So a no, lot of vegetables I... were cheap, especially if you... Don't, don't cut too thin. For no, sake. Little, for I thought you wanted desperate Dan stuff. Oh, oh for goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> <laughs> OK, just put your... Oh, look, now you're making me not concentrate. I've got to put my spuds in. Sorry, sorry, I'm not, I'm not helping you at all, Anthony. No, it's all right. It's just you are a sort of distraction, if I might I say. Am... No. OK, yeah. now, <laughs> please welcome, bless him, he's come in amid fury. Oh. Please welcome Anthony Royal Thompson! <laughs> Thank now, you, you, like I say, you've come... Are you always on the phone, or would your wife say, of course, of course he is, and you'd say, no, I'm not? No, I'm, I'm, I'm very bad at phones. Are you? But I do lose my wife to the phone quite often. Really? Mm. She's okay. always scrolling through things and, oh, just mad. Anyway, that's another story. Um, no, she's but right, is she like me, that as soon as you see the other half is busy with a football or cooking programmes, because he's a fanatic, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like that with the phone, right, he's not watching. <laughs> She's a bit like that. She's always checking. She says, it's the only way I can keep in touch with my friends. And I said, but the thing is, you'll, you'll have a conversation. She's having a conversation. Ooh. Chatting away, 45 minutes later, it's the girl who's coming to lunch. Know, She's <laughs> pulling up outside the house and they're both still on the phone. <laughs> What's that all about? But that's a female thing. I remember doing that with my friend at school. And we'd see each other all day at school, and then we'd spend an hour sitting, up, like it was the old days, you know, sitting in the hall, twirling the, yeah. the old wire around. And my dad would come in and say, what are you talking about? You saw, yourself, you saw each other all day, and then you're seeing each other tomorrow. It's just a girl thing. No, it definitely well, is. Jay I'm must got lose to... you to the kitchen most of the time. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm a very sociable sort of fellow. Yeah, but you're, you are always in the kitchen, you know. I am cooking. a lot, and, but then she loves cooking as well, so it's, uh, it is often a joint activity. Mm -hmm. and Who we... does the cooking, by the way, at home? Well, she does it and I tell her how to do it. <laughs> 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 now, I have to say, you, you are looking very trim. You, have, you, have you lost you're a lot of weight, I, I don't know, I don't... That's another thing. She, she, Gets on the scale every day of the week. It's a girl Why? thing. No. Leave it. Have it's a surprise a in two weeks. I've lost a stone. Marvelous. I mean, I don't. I never get on the scale. But you, you have lost weight. I have lost. How much? I would much estimate. Did you say you'd lost? Looking at the mirror. <laughs> and that's how I judge my weight. God, you look good. No, no, I don't. <laughs> that. I mean, I, my feeling is, um, I probably lost four inches. Okay. Around the waist. Because my belt's on the last notch now. You can tell by this jacket, it's really too big. I know, for you. I know, I know. My wife won't let me buy any clothes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what? And, and what? what uh, until you've finished? Yeah, it, so there's no you... point until you've really finished. I've probably got, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm into health foods now, although I love. What's brought this fun. about? Well, I got, I got diagnosed with a pre diabetes, diabetic state. They used to call syndrome X, they don't like calling it that now. Oh. And I looked at all the diabetic cookbooks and I thought, these are all pants. And my food life is over. Mm. And then I did a bit more research and mm. I thought, no, it's not. Did you have quite a high fat diet at that time? I didn't have say? any diet. That was the problem. Right. Yeah. There wasn't enough food on one diet. I mean, I think the thing is, it's, it, it, for me, it was just eating badly. Mm. And I, 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 I reversed the situation, so I never became a diabetic. So I, I reversed by changing my diet. And is, is this, I mean, the, the cookbook you've got out now, the Essential Low Fat Cookbook. I'm moving on to low as, fat. As now, soon yeah. as you see low fat, you think, mm, no, it's not but look taste inside. So nice. That looks nice on there. Is it quite blokey? Because you're a man, you, you've, you've lost weight because you, you know, you've had a wee bit of a, of a health scare. Mm. Do you think this is the kind of book that a man could, because, you know, mo most of the time at home, it's women who do the cooking, that a man could pick up and think, right, I am going to lose weight in a blokey way. It's only a low fat cookbook, it's not a miracle one. No, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. No, and my, my essential, when I started, I've done five diabetic books and I've moved on to low fat. Yeah. But I think that the, the, my premise is always make the food tasty and by the way it does you good. How and do you do that without fat, though? It is, it is a tricky. And in my introduction, I said this is very hard because fat to a chef is where the flavour comes from. Yeah. Yeah. But you substitute herbs and spices and things like that. So there's quite a lot of Asian food in there, as you'd expect. Yes. Um, but no butter or oil in anything? No oh. butter. You can have a spray oil. I mean, Goose people fat, get extreme. potatoes? The one thing oh, I... Oh, crackling? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You've got to go. That's got to go. <laughs> but I, think, I do think there's a slight problem there because the wrong they don't encourage the right sort of fats they just say no fat no fats and i no. i think my one of my little campaigns is to yeah. say things like you know avocados 
high in calories, but well, it, really good for you. It's yeah. obviously yeah. working for you. It's lovely to see you, and, and, you. and I'm glad, glad you're fit and well. And the book is out at the end of May. It's Anthony Royal Thompson, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's a lot for today. We're back tomorrow at 12.30 with the lovely Christopher Biggins. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.